Another really negative side effect that can occur if we have a layer 2 topological loop is a broadcast storm. Remember what a broadcast frame looks like? That's where the destination MAC address in hexadecimal is all Fs. Well, that MAC address is never going to be learned by a switch. So what does a switch do when it receives an unknown unicast or a broadcast frame? It floods it, doesn't it? It sends it out of all of the other ports, all of the ports on the switch other than the port on which the frame was received. In our case, PCA is sending a broadcast frame out on that top network segment that's going to be flooded out of the bottom port on both switches. Poor PCB gets a couple of copies of that, and it floods back through the switches, and PCA gets a couple of copies of the frame as well, and this just repeats itself. We have a broadcast storm. PCs A and B, they're being flooded with these broadcasts. They're having to stop and uh, take a look at each of these frames coming in, which is preventing them from doing their normal duties. And this can really increase the processor utilization on these switches as well. And it can make the devices attached to these network segments pretty much unusable. As a real world story, this happened to me one time when I was working down at Walt Disney World in Florida. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon. And that's a prime time when people are checking into their hotel. And we get a call that guests are unable to check in at the Yacht and Beach Club resorts. Those are resorts close to Epcot, and we got in a company van, we go over to Epcot, and they're in Future World. A lot of people don't know that there's a partial tunnel system underneath Epcot. We go under Future World, that's where the Cisco gear was, and we take a look at our Cisco Catalyst switch, and sure enough, the processor utilization was suspiciously high. And after a little bit of troubleshooting, we determined that we had a spanning tree issue. And we had a broadcast storm on the network, and that was preventing guests from checking into their resorts. And that was a pretty big deal because when you check into the resorts, you get this little card, they call it your Key to the World card, and that's the card you use to buy merchandise, to get food, to get into the parks, to get into your room. And the resorts were unable to create these cards because we had a broadcast storm going on. And to tell you how that story ended, once we discovered it was a spanning tree issue, what we did, we simply disconnected one of the redundant links going into the switch. We thought that it was better to have a non-redundant yet functional network than a redundant but non-functional network. And then somebody came back later in the day to minimize impact on the users and they swapped out the supervisor engine. But I can tell you from personal experience that a broadcast storm can bring a network to its knees. The great news is the spanning tree protocol can come to the rescue. That's what we're going to see next.